Hello and welcome to this short video on HbA1c. Over the next few minutes, we're going to be exploring together how this measures your glucose levels, why this is important, but more critically, what changes you can do that make a difference. This check will give you an average of your blood sugar levels over the last three months. So what you ate for breakfast the morning of the check doesn't make a difference. So let's break it down. Hb stands for haemoglobin. That's the red blood cells that circulate in our blood. We know that sugar or glucose attaches itself to the red blood cells. And we also know that it stays in your blood for approximately 120 days. So this HbA1c result gives you an average amount of glucose in your blood during that time, 120 days or three months. Confusingly, HbA1c can be expressed in two different ways, either as a percentage result or as millimoles per mole. These basically mean the same thing and are just different ways of telling you the amount of sugar in your blood. It's a bit like describing your weight in kilograms or stones, or your height in centimetres or feet and inches. It's the same with HbA1c. We normally use millimoles per mole, but sometimes your results can be expressed as a percentage. Your targets for your HbA1c will be based on your age and your unique circumstances, such as your job or your lifestyle. So how often is your HbA1c checked? That will depend on how you're feeling, other health conditions you may have, your current medications, or your last result. Why is it important to measure your blood sugar? Well, if your blood sugar levels are running high, firstly, you're unlikely to be feeling at your best. You're more likely to be feeling thirsty and more tired than usual, or have other symptoms that affect your quality of life such as experiencing blurred vision or frequent infections. If your sugar levels are consistently high, the sugary thick blood can cause longer term damage to either the small or large blood vessels. So if you have any of the symptoms of thirst, frequent infections, feeling tired or blurred vision, they could be signs that your blood sugar levels are running too high and it's best to talk to your healthcare team. So what are the ways you can improve your sugar levels? Just like our blood pressure and cholesterol, it may be that we need a change in our treatment to control our sugar levels. However, there are things you can change yourself, such as looking at your portion sizes, the amounts of carbohydrates you're eating, quitting smoking, or increasing physical activity. These may all help to keep your levels in check. If you need any help with these, we have lots of courses such as Staying Safe or podcasts on food. So come and find us at Learning Zone. We look forward to welcoming you.